to introduce a very significant caution into this message. As we rejoice in the assurance of God's love for us and the certainty of our eternal life in his presence, we also need to be aware that there is one thing that can separate us from his love and cause us to miss the glory that is promised to believers. And it's in the phrase that I just read, in Christ Jesus. That phrase is a very important phrase. It's repeated a total of 164 times in Paul's letters. So why is it so important? Because only those who are in Christ Jesus are able to appropriate the confident promises, assurance, the power, the grace, the strength that we need through God. In other words, only those who have been born again, who continue in obedient faith in Christ, as the Army's Ninth Doctrine points out, can be assured of eternal salvation. And Jesus himself speaks to it in John 15, 1 to 8. He says, I am the true vine, and my Father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. Well, every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. And you are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me, and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he is like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown in the fire, and burnt. We have to remain, we have to be in Christ Jesus and remain in Christ Jesus. So apart from the encouragement that we can take from this text today, there are two questions that come up for our contemplation this afternoon. The first is, are you in Christ Jesus? In other words, have you been born again? Have you been saved? Have you been cleansed by the word and the blood? If you have it, all these wonderful promises that we read about today, all these wonderful assurances and the confidence, they don't actually apply to you because you're not in Christ Jesus. But you have the power to change that. Right here, right now, all you have to do is say a prayer asking for forgiveness, inviting him into your life, that God takes care of everything else. The second question is directed to those of us who profess to be born again, and this is what it is. Are you abiding in him? Are you bearing fruit? Are you able to confidently say, you know who you are in Christ Jesus. Do you live boldly as a follower of Jesus, knowing that nothing and no one can ever separate you from his love and care? If you are in Christ Jesus, you have every right to feel confident about your situation, to grasp firmly the reassurance of victory because of your stand in Christ. But if there's any doubt at all, then I invite you to bow before him today and to receive the greatest gift that you could possibly have, the gift of salvation, being in Christ Jesus, where you will have access to all of these abundant and wonderful promises.